Welcome back to the Android Tutorials. Today we're going to be changing activities by using a package called Intent. So we're going to go start a new project. I'm going to just call this maybe Change Activity. Yeah, that'll work. Next. Um, using Still using API 22. Start with a blank activity. And let's just call this maybe activity one that way we can make an activity two and we can tell the difference a little bit easier between the two all right so there's an easy way to do this I don't want to really say easy they're both pretty easy um, but there's a there's a kind of a shorter method and uh, a longer method but I'm gonna go through both of them that way you you learn a little bit more um, it's always nice to know uh, two different ways to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and delete this. All right. So first, let's let's set up our our uh, main activity, um, activity one here. Let's see. Let's um. Yeah, let's put a button down here, dead center, and we'll put maybe uh, large text up here as well. Okay, so for our button, let's go change the ID to say maybe um, activity act one button. So activity one, and we can change the text to uh, let's see, let's say maybe go to act two, because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to click it, and it's going to send us over to our next activity. And our large text. Um, where is the... Doesn't want me to change what it says. Oh, it's already highlighted. Huh, okay. So let's call this activity one. If I can spell activity one. And of course, just so it's that much more clear, let's go ahead and change the background color. Um, let's see. I like 006699, which is a bluish color. So that's awesome. Okay, now let's go create a new activity. So we're going to go to Java, our Java folder, and then uh, com example PC change activity. And we're going to right click on this folder, go to new, and down to activity, and just like we selected before, blank activity, go ahead and click that. We can call this activity 2. And if you were to create a project without any activities and you were just going to create your own activities by selecting, you know, uh, over here, right click, and then new activity, you would start out by clicking this you would have a launcher activity. Um, in this one, make sure it's unchecked, because basically what that does is uh, your program's gonna look for your launcher activity, and that's your main activity. So anytime you go to your application, it's gonna start up with that activity. So, activity two, finish. Okay, we can delete this guy again. Let's get a new, um, a new uh, large text on here somewhere. Let's see, the other one's maybe a little bit higher up. Let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter in the end, but that's about about here. Okay, and our button, which we put dead center. Okay, so we need to go give us a new ID. Okay, ID. I think the other one we named Act One button, so Act Two button. And we can change the text here to say go to act one and we can change our large text as well where are you um, let's see activity two and let's see we'll change the background color of this guy too maybe we'll change it to like a let's do like a grayish color That's already kind of gray. Maybe we can go 
if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're missing one, I think. There we go. A little bit darker. Okay, now we can kind of differentiate between the two. All right, so we have our IDs set for everything except for these guys. We don't, we're not going to be using them in any of our code, so we don't need to set activity. And we don't really need to go set, set our uh, string resource names for either of these because it's not going to really matter. It's, it's too short of a program. I did want to just show you in the last uh, tutorial how to do that and why it's important to do that if you were making a larger application. So, okay, so let's go to activity1.java. And we're going to be importing a few things. And we're going to see a new import today. But let's start with the first one, android.view.view. So we're going to be using a widget import android dot uh, widget dot button oh, capitalized button and the new one we're going to be working with and oh, yeah import android dot content and then intent okay so let's go ahead this is the longer method but it's it's in no way um, worse than the other. They're both equal. Uh, one's just a little bit more easy to do. So let's get started with this one. We're just going to be making, um, let's see, we'll call a class, make an object of our button. Uh, we named it act one button equals the button find view by ID and resource id and then it's oh, act one button next let's create our button on a click listener so act one button uh, dot set on click listener which is popping up for us already and we've already got our parentheses perfect so we're gonna have um, this is our interface, new button, uh, oh, that's not, yeah, it's button capitalized. Why is everything in the way? Get out of the way. Okay, um, click listener. All right, hit enter. We're going to have opening and closing braces. And within these, we're going to have public void on click and in here we need to have view and we can say v and then once again opening and closing braces and here's our code what we're actually going to do when we click the button now that we're finally here so we're going to have intent and we can call it eh, my intent equals new intent and I'll explain this a little bit more in just a second. I'm going to get the code up on the screen first. And we're going to say this. Um, so we're relating to um, this view. And then we're going to say, uh, what do we name our next activity? Activity 2. And let's see, maybe this isn't, maybe it wants v dot get context. Okay. And then next, and eh, first let me explain this. Okay, so basically first, right here, this view dot context um, is basically where we are. And the activity two dot class is where we're going. So, your intention is to see where we're at and then point to where we're going. Okay, so now that we have our intent, we can say um, start um, activity. And then we're going to put my intent in there. And that's it. That's all you really needed to do. So the only thing really different that we've done is we imported um, uh, content dot intent so and then we went and created um, an object of intent and then uh, we have where we are which is v dot context 
v.getContext, and activity2 is where we want to go. And then we're just going to start that to activity. So it's, it's quite simple. And this is the longer method. And it's only longer, really, because you have to make your own, you know, click listener. So not too bad. All right, so let's go do the easier method. Eh, shorter, shorter method. Let's call it shorter. So let's go to activity two to XML file and go to the text editor. So you'll see over here that we have our button and within our button, we're going to add one line of code. It's going to be Android uh, on click equals and then you're going to type in whatever your method is going to be because uh, basically on click and then it's going to going to run a method so on click we're just going to name our method on click all right so let's create um i guess let's do our imports real quick import android view let's spell it right view dot view import android that widget actually i'm not sure if we're going to need this we'll see and then import Android content and intent. Oh, capitalize. Okay. So we can go ahead and make a new public void. And this is our method on click. Okay, so within here, we're going to need view v and then it's just going to be the same code as what we put before so we had intent my intent equals new intent and uh and this one actually you can use the this keyword doesn't hurt anything the other one didn't seem to like it as much and then we're going to activity one dot class. If you look over here, you can see that these are classes. It's got a little blue C, and that's how you can tell for sure. Uh, so that's kind of helpful to look over there. And then start activity my, <laughs> well, heck, I'm just gonna name this I, because I can't spell very well. I and then end it. All right, so let's recap just a little bit. Activity one, we created an on-click listener. So we have our button, and when we click it, it's going to do the code that's within here. This is kind of the longer method. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve 12 lines of code, including parentheses and braces and whatnot. So it's not really that much code. Whereas, um, here we only have five lines of code and then we had to add one line of code over here so you can pick and choose your you know your method of doing this but it's really not too bad all right so let's go ahead and run this all right i got this guy running so here it is go to act two and we can go back to act one pretty simple so both of these methods work and like I said one's just got a little bit less code than the other but then again you've got you know two different files you're working with you know so I mean give or take give or take but alright well that concludes our tutorial on switching um, activities using intent so make sure if you're trying to switch use this package Alrighty, see you guys next time.